Excuse us. What happened out here, huh? All right, so we had a little bit of wind last night, and that's an understatement. Uh, we had to, had to fix the roof over on that side. That part blew off. It's just been been wild. We're, <laughs> the weather's gonna get even crazier here in a minute, huh, Mace? Are you excited? You love this. She loves the white fluffy stuff that falls from the sky. Wow, we're blown out. Hang on one sec. There we go, better, okay. So yeah, she loves it when the white fluffy stuff falls from the sky, and we're about to get some white fluffy stuff from the sky, so very excited. Models are all over the place. It's only Saturday. It's coming Monday, Tuesday. We don't know how much we're gonna get, but it's gonna get white stuff. We know that. Could be up to seven inches, who knows? Every inch of it. But that's why I built this this morning. Like, I'm excited. We've been wanting to do it and just see if we can make an ice skating rink. I've got some Bisqueen uh, that we bought last year. We never put it together and tried it. So we're gonna try it again this time. Temps tomorrow don't get out of the 30s during the day. Every night is in the teens and 20s. And then all of next week, like I said, snow and in the 30s. And then next weekend shows another possible six to seven inches. Who knows? So maybe we'll get a little ice skating rink. Like it's not even gonna be an ice skating rink. It's gonna be a slide around and play thing, but whatever, the little ones might have fun in it. And we'll see what happens. We got a couple things to get to today. Tay's got tryouts for 865 Alliance, which is like the semi-pro women's team in Knoxville, which is kind of huge. And she'll play during the summertime if she makes it uh, before going off to college. And then after that, we'll run over to dinner because it is Mackenzie's 20th birthday. She's in her 20s, like no longer a teen. 20 years. Where did our kids go? My lord. Doors, why'd you break it? It never ends around here. <laughs> did you think you were done with soccer tryouts? I did. <laughs> Yet here you are again. One last time. One last time. You guys enjoy it. Yeah. So, like I said, this is 865 Alliance which is like a division of FC Alliance, which is their next step up. But they have the women's side and the men's side, so this is the tryouts. It's kind of like a cool thing to fill in in between college, like going to college. When club ends in college. When club ends, yeah. So, see how this goes. Um, but lately, she's assumed the role as the crazy basketball aunt. I'm not crazy, they just need to play more aggressive. They should not listen to the coach. It tells them to stand on a spot. It's and just... beginner basketball. They're trying to learn positioning. And... But see, I have very competitive. I don't even play sports, but I get very competitive. And I just think. I'll you know, make sure I document her at the next game. Maybe it'll make her more motivated to be a little maybe more. Maybe we, we bought them some basketball shoes, some and ones from Shaq, from Walmart. I mean, they're styling on the court. We took them to the UT ladies game, to the lady balls. They saw that. That kind of gave them a little bit of hype. You know? Maybe. I mean, I'm not... I don't know how to be a basketball aunt. It's like, I'm a soccer mom. Well, you just gotta support. That's the main thing. Hey, I was there at both their games. Yeah, support's the big piece, so... I mean, I do yell a little bit. All right, but as soon as this is done, we're gonna go eat for Mackenzie's birthday. 20 years old. How do you feel about that? You're old. I don't feel old. I feel young still. That's good. You look young still. Kiss more butt, Bob. He's trying to suck up because he's been a butthead. But we'll go to uh, Wasabi, which is a hibachi girl. It's pretty good. We'll I just like share. it. We'll probably get some sushi. Try to eat as healthy as can be. I will not be getting sushi because that's awful. Oh. No, we don't. <laughs> Alright, 
Okay, plastic is down. Now we just need a really long hose to get the water over here and we'll start putting water in it. Really wanted the water to be filled up by now so that way it would be ready to freeze for tonight. Because this is going to take a minute to fill. But it's kind of a bummer too because it's a little bit of a slope. It's not exactly flat, but this is all we can really work with living on a, a dang hill. There's only so much you could do. So we'll test it out. We'll see how this, this works. It may be one sided and it may not. Come on, baby. There we go. We got a lot to go. You can tell definitely by the flow of the water, it's going that way. We're, it, it, this may not work, but whatever, I'm trying it. Hmm. Well, definitely. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, it definitely looked a little bit flatter than it is, uh, but that's not gonna work. That's that's a bummer. All right, well, we'll take the hose apart, take it everything apart so it don't freeze tonight. And then, uh, still got time tomorrow. Maybe we can move it somewhere else. We'll try again, but. All right, until tomorrow.